Hi YouTube, today I'll be reviewing the Hewitt Packard 82240A thermal printer. I recently got this for $25 on eBay to use with my HP DOS palm tops and my future WP34S. I've already posted a video earlier showing how you can print with the HP 95LX and appropriate software. Now this printer is a small portable wireless infrared uh, printer for HP programmable and, cal and graphing calculators primarily. Compatible models include the 17 series, 19 series, 28, 41, 42, and 48 among others, as well as the hobbyist WP34S provided it has an IR emitter installed. The range is pretty incredible. It's a whole foot and a half from the calculator, but this assumes there's no interference between the calculator and the IR port you can see here. Those need to be oriented so the beam can go from the calculator down to the printer. It also works with the palm tops, as I mentioned, using appropriate software, but it doesn't seem to work with PCs or PDAs all that well. It uses the special Red Eye protocol, not URDA or a SEER, a subset of that, that you'd find in PC IR ports or say, Palm PDA IR ports. Now, this can print either text or graphics. It prints text in uh, 24 character lines, so 24 characters per line, 2.5 lines per second. And for graphics, I'm not quite sure what the resolution is, but based on the manual, it sounds like it's about 166 pixels wide maximum, and then 8 bits per row, and then we'll print horizontally uh, particular plots from a graphing calculator, for example. Now the intended use for this, and, and what it's great for, is printing program listings or program output from a programmable calculator, or graphs, as I mentioned before, from a graphing calculator. Line plots, bar plots, plotting equations, and so forth. In addition to this, it has a few control sequences that will underline text or print expanded characters, which is really nice. And it has a few other simple printer controls, say for advancing paper or performing carriage returns. Yet another great feature of this printer is the paper it uses. It's very common two and a quarter inch receipt thermal paper you can see here. And these are some sample self-tests that I've printed. I'll print another one later in the video. So getting paper for this is really easy, a dollar a roll or less probably if you buy in bulk. It's a portable printer, so it'll run on four AA batteries, but it can also run from the wall outlet provided a appropriate AC adapter. Here I'm using the HP 82241A, which is working nicely for me. Apparently the F1011A also works, but I had some trouble. I'm, I'm not sure if the inner diameter, the hole in the uh, power jack is, is small enough to fit snugly on the uh, plug of the, or is, is excuse me, the, the plug is not big enough to fit on the jack of the F1011. Now there's also a newer version of this printer, the 82240B. What that adds is an extended character set, improved power management, there's an automatic shutoff after 10 minutes idling, a power on LED that goes off after auto shutoff, and then a different color indicator when you turn it on. You can see what it looks like there. There's a red dot here, but apparently, I think it's a green one on the 82 um, 240B. Now, looking at the front controls of the printer from left to right are a power switch we can see here, and then a contrast adjust adjustment. So uh, for darker print, you go further to the right. For lighter print, you slide it to the left. It's pretty handy right there. And then a paper advance. Okay, so what I'll try and do here is show a self-test. So in order to do the self-test, what I need to do is turn the machine off hold the paper advance, turn it on, and then release. Let me try that again. Okay. 
So what this is showing is the character set the printer supports and the current battery level, which is quite high given, use, uh, given that I'm using the AC adapter. It shows a battery level of 5, and of course that goes down to 0. Now I'll go ahead, advance the paper a few lines, and then cut off that printout with this plastic edge if you do not know how to do that. Beautiful. I have a nice self-test there. Let's see. Put that, um, maybe I can zoom in and show you. Yeah, so there's your self-test printout and all the characters that this printer supports. And with that, I conclude my review of the HP 82240A. And in the future, I will demonstrate printing to this from my WP34S and an HP 95LX that will run the wonderful HP 41 emulator, EMU41. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you for watching, and have a Merry Christmas.